Alrighty, so folks, it does appear we have some breaking news. Um, and it appears that Bernie Sanders is attempting to become uh, Joe Biden's labor secretary. So obviously, Bernie Sanders is currently in the United States Senate. And so I believe to become labor secretary, you have to give up your seat um, in the Senate. Uh, the article states, Senator Bernie Sanders is hoping to be a part of Joe Biden's administration and has expressed a particular interest in becoming labor secretary to people familiar with the conversations tell Politico. I can confirm he's trying to figure out how to land that role or something like it. He personally does have an interest in it. Sanders on Wednesday declined to confirm or deny that he's putting his name forward for, for the position. So what that tells you is, yes, Bernie is vying for that position if he declined to confirm or deny. So that pretty much almost validates this whole thing altogether. <laughs> it says, right now I'm focused on seeing that Biden is elected president. That's what my main focus is, he told Politico. Um, it says, former Sanders campaign manager Faye Shakir said Sanders has not talked directly with anyone on the Biden campaign about a future role, but plans to push Biden, um, his former Senate colleague, to include progressive voices in both the transition and in a potential new administration. Yet two other people close to Sanders, including one former aide, said the senator has expressed interest in being in the administration. Um, Sanders has been making pu his push for the top job at the Labor Department, in part by reaching out to allies in the transition team. One person familiar with the process said, um, when, San when asked about Sanders' potential role, a spokesperson for Biden's transition team repeated the transition stock line that they are, quote, not making any per personnel decisions pre-election. So, um, pretty much what you've got going on is... Um, he's trying to get that spot. Now, he, he would have to give up a Senate seat, which is a powerful seat, especially because uh, I think he was on pace to be the committee of the budget or the chair on the committee for the budget. Um, so I guess he would drop that. I don't know if he really has any sort of who his allies are in the transition team because the transition team seems to have, you know, has people like Pete Buttigieg, Shindy McCain, uh, I think Larry Summers. It has a lot of these people who are has a lot of these people who are straight up either centrist or just straight up conservative altogether. Now, the labor secretary does from, you know, cursory glance, have a lot of power. Basically, um, it oversees, you know, all of the laws. Obviously, the president is the executive branch. So it, like, oversees all of the uh, enforcement of all of the laws when it comes to uh, labor regulations and laws and stuff like that. So they play a really big role. The Secretary of Labor does play a really big role. Tom Perez used to be one. I guess Robert Reich used to be one as well. I think he, I think Robert Reich was a former labor secretary. Um, so it'd be a pretty powerful position. And I think Bernie Sanders probably wants that position because, you know, for him, when it comes to issues, it's economy, labor rights is probably his biggest thing, his workers' rights in terms of how much they're making and stuff like that. So that's probably why he wants the position, because he would have a lot of power. Labor Secretary does have a lot of power. Now, will the Joe Biden administration really give him the slot? If they do, man, this is going to be one of the weirdest administrations of all time. I mean, I definitely want him to take it because it's really powerful. And he would also be, he would get into a fight. It kind of reminds me of when Steve Bannon and Jared Kushner got into a fight back in 2016. And then they kind of had to split off because they were just so different in their ideas. That's probably going to end up happening if he gets chosen. Because you're going to have people like, you know, people like Jamie Dimon and Bernie Sanders in the same administration. Which is kind of crazy. And in the same sort of sphere as well. So, you know... He would have a lot of influence in the administration and other areas, not just being labor secretary, of course, but the labor area is huge. So um, he is vying for the spot. You know, I don't know why. This is one of the examples of something that he really could have flexed his power um, before dropping out and endorsing him. Like, hey, I'll endorse you, but you got you to gotta give me the position of labor secretary. So I don't know why he didn't do that. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it is that he didn't do that, but this is definitely big news. I do hope that he gets the position because he would have a lot of power and it would definitely be very beneficial. Uh, so big stuff going on.